If I just stream my uh my Chrome window, it, it just it just freeze when if I tab into Discord. Uh, what's let me check about that. Sorry. Um. Yeah, my screen's like moving when I'm moving in Discord. Yeah, I can see like your mouse move. Mouse in circles right now, yeah. Yeah. So I think, but you won't see Discord, but it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I might just use my phone anyway to submit the submit the ball. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. That's what I did during my tournament. Yeah, let's just casually get a 253. Alright, uh, so it is live. I'm just going to send out the announcement as well as the uh, spreadsheet for scores quickly. Alright. Just so we can get those going. I'll share the spreadsheet with you, Codley, and give you uh, added access for that. You're able to change the scores as well. Uh, if you just want, like, Discord me, like, I don't know, whatever email address you want to use to be able to edit it, that'll work for me. Uh, just so you're able to edit the spreadsheet, Codley. Yeah, let me, uh... Wait, I guess I'm signing up that one, I guess. There's the announcements out. Make sure to add you to the thing, Codley. Alright. You should have edit access now. And you only need to edit the uh, the times, points, and then the placement. The, the total score points will update by themselves. Alright. All right. Uh, so is everyone ready right now? I mean, how much time do we have? Uh, we can start at uh oh three, if everyone's ready for that. All right. Someone's gonna duck on them. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Like we're about to start here. Yep. Yeah. Looks like we got two two people starting off on the UN States quiz. Bold move. Uh, Lezzy and the Teo. Teo, however you pronounce it. And Turk's stream is very pixelated right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like mine was. Yeah, <laughs> it's like his. Maybe some flashbacks of something from before. I don't remember right, quite what. We are off. We got uh, Dax on Europe, uh, Tio and Leslie on UN States, and Turk. I don't know what's going on. Looks like North of Central America, but. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It'll probably just get yeah, better. Yeah, it'll, it'll correct itself. Don't worry. I still, still have a general idea what's going on. Yeah. Kali's very familiar with this issue, don't worry. Gosh. Uh, Dax are not with Europe. I don't think I don't even know what scores uh or like PB's Dax has throughout all the quizzes. I know they have like I know they have like some R8 scores, but not that's a 43 Europe. That's all right. Yeah, not bad. I, mean, I don't know what his um what his pin times are for Web. Yeah. He plays a lot on Touch Web. Yeah, I was I was a bit just surprised to see them say that they were gonna play 
pin this, I mean, uh, web this tournament, besides touch web. It seemed like they had a lot more experience in uh, touch web, but you know, maybe they're maybe they're feeling more comfortable getting some better times on pin. Be yeah, probably. Uh, I, I think um, I think his only um, touch web um, device is a phone, so I can imagine some of the quizzes would be <laughs> yeah. a bit annoying with the with a phone. Quite annoying indeed, yeah. That'd be just horrible. I know Stathix plays the I have a touchscreen laptop, so it's definitely a lot easier for them. Yeah. Well, this is getting pretty far. Both Leslie and Theo are getting pretty far into their UN runs. It looks like it. Looks like Theo is playing. Ooh. Where he has to scroll down to see the couple bottom ones in the, in the Caribbean. Over there, yeah. <laughs> Kind of annoying, but you know it's whatever, whatever works for them, I guess. Dax is coming up on a finished Europe run. Let's see what he gets. Ooh, 39. the thirty. Can't, can't quite read. Can't quite read the decimal, but he'll. Oh, nope. don't worry. They're putting it in there. That is a thirty-eight point eight. Thirty-eight point eight for Dax. So that will put them in first right now with uh three points, which is pretty good for them. All right, we got a... off to an early lead. Did Lezzy fail his UN States run? I was yeah, so, like he restarted. Sadly, they did restart. They actually reset it right after I said they were on a good run. Oh wow! All right, well, Tio is looks like he's a little more than two thirds of the way done. I'd say. Yeah. Definitely a nice run, especially for this bracket. Uh, cause while while this bracket is pretty stacked, I gotta say, especially with the last minute addition of Turk, um, not not so much UN experience outside of Lezzy. both Dax and uh Turk, I believe, admitting that they don't have much experience in those quizzes. Yeah. Let's see, we got Dax on Africa now. Turk is still on North and Central America. I haven't seen a run get out of them yet. I don't know if they've. You can't really tell if they've finished any yet. They might just not yeah. finish any or not be proud of the times. Ooh, missed the 50 50 at the end there. On Jamaica and Mexico. Really sad to see. I hate to see it. Hate to see it. I'm seeing a lot less times come in in the first minute. In the first five minutes than we have seen in past rounds, because I recall yeah. from commentating and playing the last, in the last three rounds, the first five minutes were usually where you know, like ten plus scores get submitted. But so far, only Dax with a Europe run getting submitted so far. Yeah, I think it's because two people wanted to get the UN states out of the way, and then <laughs> yeah, just got North and Central America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting time for Turk. I can see the cursor flicking around and. <laughs> I don't know, frustration of spending this much time in North and Central America. Uh, yeah. Interesting. We got, uh, Tio is coming up on a finish here. He's only got about, I would say, 20 or so more elements left, and Lezzy is coming in behind with a pretty respectable looking time for this quiz. I would, I would, I would say probably close to 250 with maybe the amount of elements he has left. Yeah, Maybe definitely. World record here. Oh gosh, new world record already. Jeez, Leslie. He's going pretty fast. Tio is probably going to finish with around a five, you know, low to mid five minutes. Yeah, one of Tio's famous five minute UN runs that he likes to brag so much about. Yeah. Oh, Turk's uh, stream seems to have fixed itself. I can actually see what's going. on. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, what's happening? I was getting a bit worried that Tio was going to finish behind Leslie there, uh, even though starting, you know, two minutes before them. But I think Tio might just barely clutch out the win over Leslie here. Yeah, Cuba. Yeah. Ooh, was that Leslie a 50.5? Uh, Africa from Dax, I believe. Leslie is about to finish his UN States run. He's got Bhutan, Yemen, and that's a 258. Ooh. 258. I can't quite see the decimal on that. I think it's a 257.8. So I'll put that in there. Okay, what about Tio here with his Tio's decimal? I can't quite see that either. Yeah. It's okay. Thankfully, I, I think we're getting submissions in. Channel, so. 
Oh, you can't see him? Oh, I forgot. Uh, um. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can see my channel, but I can't see anything else. <laughs> I was like, I'll give you permission to look at those. It's probably, probably important. <laughs> I totally realized I didn't give it to Mountain either when he commentated, so I just feel bad for Mountain now. <laughs> Poor Mountain. We got, uh, we got Dax going to Asia now. We got Lezzy going to Asia now. Turk is still on North and Central America. And Tio is on the Caribbean. Nice. I'm gonna rely on you for a little bit to look at the things because I'm not paying attention at all right now. And we got pretty respectable looking Asia time coming out of here. Dax, I'm thinking in the mid to low 40s range. That was a 518.3 for anyone wondering for uh, Tio's UN run. 518.3, that's pretty respectable time for somebody who doesn't play UN States. <laughs> yeah, that's a 48 Asia for Dax. I think he's going to do a better time. Yep, yep. looks like he... <laughs> right on to that. Uh, 8.6 Caribbean for Teal here. And I think he's going to go for a better time. I will just... I'll just throw that in there for now. But... Yeah, just in case, you never know. Ooh, Leslie going on to Asia as well. <laughs> We got a Turk finished his North and Central America time. They got an eight something. I don't know exactly <laughs> what it is, but Leslie messaging me to tell them that their page isn't loading for Satera. Just an out of balance mechanic of the website, you know. Yeah. Gotta put Leslie in the playing field. Seven point six yeah. for Tio. Now I'm not sure if Turk finished his um run on the North and Central America, but he seems to have moved on to South America now, and I don't see any submissions for him, so maybe he's coming back later. Yeah. And then we get another eight second time on the Caribbean by Tio, don't know exactly what it is. That was 7.6. It was pretty good for them. Yeah. Better time. Well, we have to be able to see your, um, your decimal point, Turk. I mean, on bigger quizzes, it might not matter, but on the short ones, it does, definitely. So 7.7, .7, I think? 7.7 7 on South America? I believe it was. I think it's a 7.8, I can't. Oh, it's an 8 point. You got an 8.2 on North and Central America, all right. Oh, Turk doesn't have a submission channel. <laughs> One second, I have to... Oh, yeah, it got rebranded. Um, I, I see it. It says Turk submissions. Yeah, but we, di we didn't put in uh, Turk actually in the channel. <laughs> yeah, didn't actually put Turk in. Alezi coming out with a 28.3 Asia, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 28.3 on Asia by Alezi. That is an insane time. That is a very insane time. It is. Jeez, oh my gosh. Can't comprehend these times, man. From Alezi. These guys are kind of going quite fast on their runs. I can't, I can't keep up with how many uh, times they're all submitting now. So, yeah, this is a uh... turn to get into it. Definitely, I'm gonna put that seven point eight down for Turk since uh, you know that's my fault. I did not give them a submission channel. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, see what we're going on. We got Lezzy moved down to Europe. Dax is still on Asia. Um, Tio is currently working on Oceania and. Uh, Turk is trying to improve their South America time. I definitely think we could see a, a six-second time in South America here from Turk. Definitely. I don't think Turk has a submitted six-second yet, but they definitely have potential for it. Yeah. Probably see a seven-second time on Oceania here from Tio. And Lezzy, I'm assuming we'll see a... <laughs> um, probably a mid, a mid, you know, 25, 26 Europe time here. Yeah. I think uh, in this entire tournament, Leslie has the highest time out of everyone in literally every category except for U.S. Yeah. Yeah. And Tio, of course, holds you know the U.S. The one thing that we can <laughs> have over Leslie in this tournament. That's a twenty-four point oh. Twenty-four point oh. That's just tied their PB. Second. They could get that twenty-three is... this tournament. <laughs> twenty-four point oh on Europe from Leslie. That is an insane time right there. That is, I don't even, I can't even comprehend that, man. They're going to get two CPS today, dude. <laughs> doesn't like, all right, doesn't like the .0, I guess, just 24. 
Yeah, to get rid of it. Another uh, another eight second time on Oceania from Tio. He doesn't like that, so he's gonna keep playing. Keep going. Turk is on to Africa. Oh yeah, sorry. Tur yeah, Turk is still in South America. Sorry, but let's see. This is just let's quiz see. hopping. We'll see. Probably see a. 35, 34 second on Africa here. I know Lezzy, I think, has a 32 or 33. A 32, Africa. which is just, my mind can't comprehend that. I I have a 36 PB, PB myself in second place, and it's just, I don't even understand. Yeah, I don't want to speak too soon right now, but I think, I think Lezzy is probably going to be our clear victor. <laughs> yeah. The other players are going to be playing for second place. <laughs> Definitely. As, as it stands. As Leslie is already showing his skill with uh, with an insane Europe time, a very good UN member states time. And well, now he's working over here on, on Africa. And he... It's going insane. Haven't gone to any short categories yet. Maybe trying to get all these long categories out of the way, you know. Yeah, I like imagine the... that's what he'll do. Like the long categories, you definitely get a lot more nerves going for those ones, especially probably when you miss. A, probably see a five second uh, South American time from him as well. I know he says he can do that without no brute force pretty easily. So yeah, definitely gonna see. I feel like we're gonna see a, a tournament best time for each category, probably just from Lesia and everything, yeah. except for US. But yeah, yeah. Still seems to be saving the US for. Later in the tournament, I imagine he's probably getting his the ones he's less familiar with out of the way first, and then focus on beating Leslie on US. That's probably what it'll be. Yeah. Well, I think I mean Tio can honestly probably just do like one US run, get like you know a thirty or something, and no one else can come even close to that. Yeah. Unless I know Leslie's not very practiced on US. I saw he was doing some. Some runs the other day. I think he got like a thirty-three or something, which is pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. But 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 Tio, I mean, obviously Tio's got the twenty-six right now. Yeah, he's just insane. Stuff. I mean, for someone who's not even from the U.S., I mean, it's, yeah. uh, it's pretty good. Well, I guess most people in the U.S. probably don't know the states. Yeah, that's so, true. As I, as I showed in my match, I was learning on the spot. <laughs> that's true. Or with that. All right, I'll go ahead and update the scores for everyone in the chat right now. Uh, Leslie, as everyone would expect, is in the lead right now with nine points. Uh, second place, surprisingly, is Turk. I guess not surprisingly. I mean, I mean Turk is a bit a bit rusty, but they definitely still have the skill to get some of those good times. Um, and then Dax and both Tio are currently at five points. I'll just quickly update the scores right now. Turk at second, Lesian first, and then Tio and Dax tied for a third place time right now. It's very, it's very close. Um, looks like Tio and Turk are spending a lot of time on their respective quizzes right now. Yeah, um, definitely. I saw that. I saw that. Dax has now moved on to South America as well. I don't know if he finished an Asia run or if he. Got tired of misclicking or something. <laughs> to move on. Doesn't look like they submitted anything. Yeah, yeah for Asia. So definitely uh, look at the former for them. Looks like Dax is. Like... Uh... Oh, a seven. You're right. Don't know what those decimals are exactly. I'll have to see if Turk uses the submission channel that I gave to them last second. Uh, just submit a screenshot. Turk, uh, yeah. whatever it is, you can t uh, a screenshot, or you can take out your phone and take a picture of it and put it in the submission channel. Or honestly, we can we can see your screen, so you can just like put the numbers in the chat with like the <laughs> the quiz. Yeah, because it's very uh very pixelated right now. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> see see the fine print. <laughs> very important. A little bit important. It's fine. The 7.2. 7 7.2. 7 that is a respectable South America time. We got Dax is currently attempting to set a time on South America as well. And Leslie's still working on Africa. And Tio is hard at work on uh, Oceania. 
Yeah. I'm noticing with a lot of people who, uh, a lot of people like Tio, and we saw it with Tamug last tournament, uh, people who aren't as experienced, you know, uh, in a lot of those longer categories like Africa and Asia tend to tend to gravitate towards those smaller quizzes to try and get some higher times. Because, you know, they don't take as much time to learn and get good at as the longer quizzes. Yeah, I imagine they probably don't have as much experience on maybe Asia, Africa, and Europe. Definitely. Although Tio's no stranger to long quizzes. I mean, he, he plays a 50-element quiz. He does it yeah. in 26 minutes, so... I think it's a seven point eight ocean from Tia right there. Seven point eight is he? Oh, he seems like he's finally happy with that. Yep. I mean, he is technically a first place right now. Yeah, I mean, he's the first person to. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. It was sad. Misclick. As a sad fifty-fifty misclick from Dax at the end of that South America run. Yeah, I did not see that. Yeah, I think we'll see. Uh. I think they'll probably set their times on these shorter quizzes and then the longer ones out of the way and then with the time left they'll probably come back to the shorter ones to try to beat each other out and get some of those points. Definitely. That's what we've been seeing with the last tournament, last few rounds as well. Uh, Turk going on to Europe right now. Probably their Turk. best quiz. Uh, outside of... Leslie run for their money, maybe. Uh, I don't know about that, sadly. Oh, yeah, actually, actually. Leslie has 24. Oh. <laughs> I think Turk has a 26 or 27. Tio setting a 32 on U.S. States. Looks like he's not happy with that. Of That's course, probably going to be enough for first place of the tournament, but, you know, just... Six seconds behind his PB, but I think he probably wants to get closer to a 26 in this. Yeah, definitely. Dak submitting their South America run and happy with it, finally. Looks like that's going to be a 8.1 for Dax in South America. Man, that is not a bad time at all. Except for someone who who plays mostly touch web, eight point one on a on a web category is is pretty good, especially on a quiz no. like South America where you have to basically get well over to CPS to even get a to get a six second time. Yeah, definitely. Next, I'm moving on to Caribbean. Unless Caribbean is having a very hard time on Africa here. He keeps misclicking. Yeah, Africa is. Definitely one of those quizzes where it's very misclick heavy. So many small areas and quiz and yeah. elements. Yeah, you got like got, got a good amount of small elements, and then you, I mean, especially on the Gambia there, if you don't get Senegal first, you might have a hard time clicking that one oh, fast yeah. and accurately. Yeah, thankfully the Gambia does have a uh, a little a uh, little circle thing going out there. But like me, uh, Turk, I mean, Leslie can't see circles, so they don't use them. Uh, so, decides to click on the country itself instead of the yeah. little part jutting outwards. You know what? I did not see that either. I didn't, now. I didn't see it until I got a 45 and my muscle memory was ruined forever. So I never used it. I'm, I'm, I'm just now, I'm, I'm wondering if, if I'm questioning my existence now because I did not know that has always been there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can clearly see it on his stream, but. Yeah, there's also one on Togo if you want to hear about that. Oh, a yeah. sad miss on Malawi there. Didn't actually misclick, Ooh. but just, you know. Just missed it completely. Yeah. Alright, well, Dax is working on Oceania now. Tio is trying to get a good US time. Turk is working on Europe. And Leslie is struggling on Africa here, which, yeah. I mean. I, I would think isn't surprising for someone going at his speed. I would think that he, he's accurate, but I don't think he's that accurate all the yeah. time. He probably is pushing himself a little bit here. Another 32 from Tio. 31.5 might finally submit that, you know. Definitely good enough for first place in this group, but... Oh, no, they're sick going. And I just want to point out quickly, uh, Turk doing a bit of a unique strategy. I believe their Europe map was a bit bigger before. It looks like they actually made it a bit smaller, if I'm correct. That's what it looks like. That's going to make elements like Kosovo and Montenegro very uh, very challenging to hit. I know yeah. from experience that <laughs> if, I, if I'm not playing zoomed in on Europe, I'm not hitting Kosovo accurately. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a very unique, it's definitely a trade-off, you know. When you make the when you make the map smaller, it's, you know, a, a smaller travel distance to get to each element, but it's so much more difficult to actually land on each element. I know I, I, I've tried to do the smaller map strat for 
uh, some countries for some maps with bigger elements like uh, North and Central America and stuff like that, uh, where there aren't as many things and it's a lot easier to click. And also South America, but I I don't know. It's a bit. It's a very unique strategy. That's all I'll say. a little bit zoomed in just because it's what I'm used to but yeah I understand completely it, but... especially a map like map like Europe yeah yeah with the tiny elements I mean like he had map things like Andorra um, Liechtenstein Luxembourg oh gosh and all, those, all those dots and I mean I mean and the dots are nice to have but at the same time they're small you yeah know? so if, I mean if you're gonna if you're playing zoomed out you're you're liable to misclick them Oh, yeah. So it looks like it might be working for Turk because they're like they're about to finish out a run right here. Is this a, a thirty seconds? That's a thirty. I don't I can't see the decimal, but it looks to me like it's a thirty something time. Is he not happy with that? He did I, not submit it. I guess not happy with it. I don't know what they're trying to go for here. I mean, I feel like thirty seconds is definitely gonna be good enough for second place. I don't think Dax or Tia are gonna be able to catch up to a thirty. And uh, I don't know if Turk's going to be able to catch up to a 24 where Leslie's at. So I, th I feel like it might be a, a safe plan to stop at 30. But it looks like he Turk's going to keep going for it. Man, Ooh, a 37. Point four. He looks like he's not happy with that either. I think uh, I think he's going to try to push that a little bit further. Although that does beat Dax's time. And that would put him at second or, or third or second place currently in Europe. Yeah. I think he could. He probably wants to get maybe a thirty-five or somewhere in that range. I don't know what Tia's experience on Europe is. He looks like he's pretty competent, but yeah. Also, looks like I was taking a nap because I completely missed that. Uh, Dax got a nine-point-zero Caribbean earlier. Oh, he did. I did not see that either. Yeah, it was it's a bit hard to watch four screens at once sometimes. <laughs> it is. So Especially on these shorter maps where they're all going, you know, hundred miles a minute, definitely. Uh, so a quick score update for everyone. Uh, Dax pulling up to tie with uh Lezzy right now. You know, for all our Dax, all our Dax fans in the chat, Dax is currently tied with Lezzy. Whether you want to say that's because of you know people not playing enough quizzes or not, uh, it's just what just what's going going on right now. Uh, Tio actually has eight points right now, close behind the two of them, and then Turk is in last right now. Uh, still with six. Hasn't done anything else recently. Uh, Dax with an 8.5 on Oceania. Oceania? I think that might technically bring Dax up to first. That gives him second place in Oceania currently, and that would put him up in first place. Dax is currently our, our lead runner in this tournament. And Tia with a 36 on Europe. I think he might be happy with that one. I think we so finally submitted. Trying to see, he's pulling up the sniffing. That's a thirty-five point six. If Oops, I read that. Sorry about that. Just totally messing up the stream. Hope no one saw that. Let's check Tio's submission channel just to be sure here before he go. Or go ahead and start putting numbers in. Yeah. Looks like he's saving it, and I imagine we'll be seeing the submission here shortly. Thirty-five point six. Yep. Thirty-five point six. A respectable Europe time. I think that's um kind of a lot faster than what a lot of people can do. I know from experience that Europe is not the easiest quiz. I uh definitely a tough one. Yeah. I I, I struggle a bit on Europe. I think I can uh I I have a thirty-four and I can kind of get close to thirty-five most runs, but. It's a, it's definitely a very hard quiz. I mean, I would think if we're if we're if we're ranking all of the maps in terms of like difficulty, I would say UN is probably the hardest just because of how long it yeah, is. Yeah, uh, UN is absolutely horrible. Um, and then for me personally, I think Asia is probably the hardest just because of of the way the map is oriented. For me, Asia I'm not used to like like Jordan, Syria being all the way on the left side, so I don't have muscle yeah. memory for that. Asia is definitely, I feel like Asia, outside of UN, is definitely one of the more luck-dependent maps out of all of them. You need to get a good order to be able to get a good time, definitely. All right, looks like Turk has got a 28-second flat on Europe here. That will put him in second place on Europe. That will move Tio down to third, and unfortunately Dax will... 
be in last place now in Europe. We will see if he will go back to it, but I think maybe he could probably edge out uh, Tio on that, but yeah. I don't know about his um about his ability to push below 30 with him not being a uh, a normal web runner for most quizzes. I know he's played yeah, he's definitely. played some web, but not not as much as some of the other people here. I definitely think he's going up against three very <laughs> good players. Yeah. Zach definitely got uh the, the short end of the stick by the by the impromptu Turk entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz um said so I don't I don't know the other the other player Avity. I did not know about their their skill level. I I've, I've never seen a run from them, so I was curious to see but Sometimes life gets in the way. For, fortunately, we had Turk who is available and willing to take that fourth or that fourth yeah. slot. Who was seven point one North and Central America? Seven point one on North and Central America from Tio here. That is a very very good time. That will edge out Turk by a, a large margin there. That will put oh. Tio in first place for North and Central America putting Turk down second place. And Lezzy finishing off with a 32 second time on Africa. I do not know the decimal point, but that could be better than his world record. Could be. Is it is it a is it 32? Lezzy Lezzy just screenshotted the 32. We do not know the decimals. <laughs> It's fine. I, I I I think Leslie's safe with that yeah, thirty-two. Yeah. I think I think I think we have to assume the slowest here, thirty-two point four. But like I said, I I'm I'm not sure it really matters for that quiz. Yeah. <laughs> um, Africa is very 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 challenging. Oh, it was uh, twenty-eight point one on Europe actually for Turk. We got that yeah. corrected in there. Um, did we get that Africa? Yeah, thirty-two point four. So that puts Leslie in the the clear lead on Africa. I don't, I don't think uh, anybody really here else could get close. Maybe if uh, Benkin was competing in this tournament, maybe Benkin <laughs> yeah. could, get, could get up there. But fortunately, he's been MIA for quite some time now. So yeah, very sad. And Dax is coming up on a finish and finishing his UN States run. I would say he probably has another minute or so left. Yeah, he's, looks like he's. Taking it slow, taking it steady, probably just trying to edge out Tio here currently to get those two yeah. points. I think they can definitely beat Tio this one. And speaking of Tio, I believe that is a six point five point nine. Five point nine on South America. Now that is a good time. That is a very good time. That's gonna put them in first place for South America. Now, Leslie is currently working on South America as well. We will see what time he comes out with, but I'm guessing with his skill he can probably get out a uh, a a 5.4 or lower here. I wonder if for South America, does Leslie even like look at the map or do they just like hard stare at the uh Leslie at... just had a five <laughs> second time on South America and he <laughs> is redoing it. Wasn't good enough, oh, clearly. Wasn't good enough. A a run most okay. players would do a lot of things for, but yeah. Leslie is just another day in the office for him. Yeah, this is uh I think for Leslie, I remember talking to him, asking him a while back what he what he does on South America, and he says that he 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 mostly focuses on on the element itself, where he reads the element on the top and then he looks at it on the map, and then he doesn't even really look at his mouse, <laughs> and he kind of just flicks to it, which is um, Dax is currently <laughs> on the break by the looks of it. Yeah, break and, time for Dax. And, after getting that nice 4.43 in UN member states. And 4.43.3, which is enough to edge out Tio and put Dax yeah. in second place currently in UN member states. I don't know if, if Turk is going to play it or not, but we will see. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to say Turk first has to get past North and Central America, the bane of his existence right now. He is, he is struggling very hard. Yeah. I think... What I did for mine was I brute forced Canada because Canada can be a very tricky element. Despite its size, it's all the way up top, so that kind of ruins a lot of the uh, a lot of the tempo and the flow of runs. I would, I yeah, would say, yeah, definitely does. I think I think both uh, both uh, or I think all six second North and Central America runs have a 
It's like second. Uh, sorry, I have Canada brute forest. Yeah. Leslie might not. Say. I don't know, but. Leslie, <laughs> yeah, Leslie is a different breed of player. Yeah. Breed. I mean, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Leslie is only thirteen or fourteen years old. I don't know. I and I know he's thirteen. I don't know if he turned fourteen quite yet, but he is definitely by far one of the youngest pro pro Cetera players. I guess you can call yeah. him. I don't know if I don't know if we're necessarily pro players, but. One De of the definitely pro, young, definitely. youngest, young, youngest top players, um, which is kind of crazy considering um, just his age. I mean, for someone being that young and to have such speed and control over their mouse is kind of mind-boggling to me. Yeah, there's definitely been a big change in uh, speedrunning as a whole. With like, it, it used to be like you know uh, a hobby for like you know people who are like twenty. Yeah, twenty years old around there, but now it's definitely gotten a lot younger. We see a lot more younger players getting into speed running. Yeah, there's definitely been some some child prodigies, I guess you could say, across various games. Yeah, um, I, I know of some. I know of a couple others. There's another kid, um, and another server who holds multiple world records across multiple games, and he's only fourteen years old. So he's Jeez. um he's he's very skilled. Um, Mackin too. I know. I know Mackin's a lot of uh, contention for people <laughs> um, in the in the Satara server, but we can't yeah. can't deny that he's a very skilled player. Yeah. Um, and for being only thirteen, um, he's he's set some very respectable times. I mean, he's he's tied the world record um, on South America. He's tied um, Leslie, which is kind of crazy considering how four seconds on a thir there was a thirteen element map is yeah thirteen elements insane. Um, but he's also set some good Europe times. I don't know about his other um, full game categories. I think he mostly focuses on Europe and South America. But yeah, well, it looks like uh, looks like Tio is checking out the scoreboard right now, and Dax has moved on to the states. I wonder if he is more skilled at them than I am. It looks like he might be. Looks like <laughs> he's not. He, he's not hesitating on as much of them as I was. So yeah, definitely. I, I, I guess that a uh, not non American buff is a uh, is working out for him. Oh um, yeah. He's, oh, oh, Wisconsin is over there. That the uh, Wisconsin Wyoming, uh, fifty fifty, just like my Mississippi <laughs> Minnesota fifty fifty. Definitely a big risk out here. Yeah. So I will take uh, I will take the time to update the uh, scores right here. Uh, Tio has managed to go ahead of Leslie right now, since Leslie has been taking some time on um. Uh, South America. Leslie has sadly moved back into second place. I mean, I mean, it doesn't really mean much. Leslie's definitely gonna pull forward as the tournament goes on. Dak sadly has not gained any more points since we've last seen them. So sadly, they have uh, stayed stagnant. Um, and Turk has also not changed at all. Been doing a more of a mental battle, I guess you could say, with North and Central America right now between Turk and them. So um. Looking at the scoreboard right now, it seems that nobody has submitted a U.S. States time so far. Dax might be the first one here to submit a U.S. States time. I know that Tio was playing, but I don't remember him ever. I don't see him submitting a time, so I'm yeah. curious as to if he's going to be coming back to that later in the tournament. Um, we are about half an hour in so far, so we only have another oh. little bit under an hour left here. So um, players need to... Uh, kind of get their 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 time set and then they can focus more on improving what they have already done. So Dax sets a 46.3 here on the US states which yeah. will put him at first for now, but I don't know how long that will last unfortunately considering Tio is in the lobby. Yeah. <laughs> you might have some other things to say about that one. Um, Did yeah, Turks in so a time yet or are they leaving North and Central America again? Yeah, I I'm not sure. They are uh they have their 8.2 on there now. I'm, I don't know if they're um, if that's what they want their final time to be, but it looks like they're moving on to Asia. I don't know why Leslie's spending so much time on South America. I mean, honestly, they probably can with how good they are the other categories, but... And Dax setting a 47-second time on North and Central America. That is, uh... <laughs> that's a good one. That's the middle right there. Uh, 
Um, all right, looks like Tio has also finished an Africa run, and he is going to submit. Is that a 49.1 on Africa? That that beats Dax by almost a second and a half, which will put Tio in second place and Dax in third place. Turk still yet to play. So it looks like our, our, we're getting filled out on the scoreboard here. The only quiz that lacks a lot of participation right now is Asia, which Turk is filling out his time. I yeah. have not seen a submitted time from Tio or Dax on Asia so far, but I think that is probably one of the harder quizzes for the players here. Yeah, definitely. That is a, a respectable Africa time, and we will see if uh, Dax returns to take some more points back or what Turk would put would put on uh, Africa. I believe Turk doesn't even know Africa at all, so we might have some trouble for Turk to be able to get on a good time. We might see what... They did what you did during the tournament last time. Try and learn it mid tourney. Africa is a I, I, I quite enjoy Africa. It's probably one of my favorite um um non UN states, obviously, um full game categories. Um, I think the elements are pretty well laid out. Um I don't have any annoying elements except for maybe um like Gambia or something, but Yeah, Gambia is pretty funny. Tio setting a 30 second time on US, a, thir a 30 second time flat, that is a very, very respectable time, and I think that will probably stand as the top time. Oh, it looks like, uh, looks like on the scoreboard here, do we, do we put, did Leslie get 30 on the US, or did we accidentally put that down? Oh, that, that is completely team? my fault. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. I, was like I, I haven't even seen Leslie play in US, he's been on <laughs> South America for the past 10 minutes or so. Yeah, that's why I need you here to correct my thing. That, yeah, that, that... Like... <laughs> anyway, that is a very, very good time. Looks like we are starting to fill out Asia here. We got three players working on Asia. They must have heard us, even though um, most of them are deafened. Um, yeah. <laughs> can't hear us right now, but I, I, I expect we'll see Asia filled out here. And I, I don't know if anybody will get close to Leslie's time because Leslie's time is actually almost world record. So yeah. <laughs> I think it's only off by like one one second or so. I think the world record's twenty seven right now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Or maybe it's twenty six. I can't remember. That is a I'm pretty pretty... insane time for a quiz like that. I would think there's a, there's a lot of really annoying elements. I mean, Singapore, Brunei, um, you got you got the you know the Kuwait, um, you know Israel. I think uh, Armenia, especially Armenia, is a very annoying element for me. I don't know about other people, but Armenia is absolutely horrible. Especially with like the little part of Azerbaijan, like right below it, oh, it's just like. Oh yeah, yeah, it is a, it's a pain. It's horrible. Interesting thing here, we see that, um, Dax is actually the only player in the lobby to play with um his cursor on, which means that the element shows on the cursor. Every other player is playing with it on, uh, playing with it off. So that means they have to look at the top bar, um. It's down to personal preference, I suppose. I I play with cursor on because I find it easier. Yeah, I find it a, a cursor, but I don't understand how players can I play like that. I mean, I I I feel like when I when I tried doing those cursor runs, I feel like it's a lot more smoother and I go like faster. But like yeah. all the time, that's wasted to like look up in the top left corner and look back down, or like I'm not very good with my peripheral vision, so it's definitely not for me. Yeah. Oh. It looks like Lezzy is finally maybe happy with his South America time. He's not restarting immediately. He yep. might be might be submitting that. Uh, Turk, too, I want to point out that he was on a very respectable Africa or Asia run, and he misclicked on the one and only Armenia. Oh, no. So, and Tio finishing out his Asia run with a 48.3. Um, Lezzy's the only one that submitted so far, but I, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to put him in second with Turk currently working on it as well. Uh, uh, Dax is currently. I think he just misclicked, so he's restarting his run. Leslie Tio looks like he's submitting his Asia. So yeah. Leslie once again not submitting their decimals for a quiz. Doesn't even care. All right. Well, I think. <laughs> I mean, with with enough effort, I think maybe Tio or Turk, maybe even Dax could beat out Leslie South America. But it would take a probably a lot of brute force. I know. I know getting a five-second South America time is not the easiest feat in the world. Yeah, definitely. Leslie has now moved on to Oceania, and we got 
Tio is currently working again on UN member states. I think he is trying to take his points back from Dax. Uh, yeah. Tio is currently. Uh, did he submit his Asia time? It looks like he did. If yeah. the picture would load, I'm trying to see that. It's a 48.3 on Asia. It's um, barely under one CPS. Um, did Dax also get a 43.8, or did we mis mis put that into? No. Uh, <laughs> Yep, that is uh, completely my fault again. I would just like to apologize once again to everyone. Uh, maybe I should have gotten more sleep last night. No Glad to have you here, got... Codley. <laughs> we got, um... Dax was submitting his 9.2 in North and Central America. I don't know when that was. That was four minutes ago. I assume that has probably been updated by now. Yeah. Yeah. That one actually got correct. I didn't actually put that... accidentally put that for Leslie or something. Uh, Turk... <laughs> Stream looks very blurry, but looks like he is a finished Asia run, and it looks like it was a twenty twenty nine second time. Maybe. Wait, what was it actually? Wait a minute. But the but the thing was, he may have clicked through the end screen. I saw. I can only see in the top. It was completed, and it looked like it said two something. So wait a minute. Was it was that actually a like twenty nine? That would be third place in the world if that is a twenty something. Did Turk yeah. just get like a? I'm I'm not sure what that was. The, the stream was very blurry and there was no end screen, just the just the completed white map with uh what looked to be a, a twenty nine second time possibly in the top corner. I I don't know. Turk is uh Turk looks like he's restarted now. He's, it was a thirty eight. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, it was, okay, it was a thirty eight. Right, we, we can't tell with all the pixels, sorry. <laughs> Maybe the uh, blurry screen was not doing very well. But yeah, we'll put down a 38 time on uh, Asia there for him. Um, do you know what the decimals were, or are we putting you down for 38.4? Alright, alright, yeah. Um, They're still running, okay. Uh, um, you can try restarting stream. I don't know how that would, if that would mess up Astro's thing or not. Uh, I believe it should be fine, yeah. You can do, go ahead and do it. As long as it's quick, we shouldn't miss too much of Tio's uh, run right here. Hopefully it doesn't world record or something. <laughs> Dax has put in an Asia time of his own. Um, if the picture would load, I would be able to see the decimal points, but Discord is currently working and... Uh, or not working for me properly. I, I don't know what the issue is. It's a 47, maybe a 46. Um, might need some clarification later. I think it's a 46.7 if I can tell. But... Yeah, I believe it has a 46.7. Yep. Wait, was that on there. Asia? That was on Asia, yes. That's going to beat out Tio. Beats out Tio. Puts Dax in second for Asia. Tio will have to come back and play it again. Uh, Turk is also putting for a time. I'm thinking he'll probably put in a, a mid-30 a mid second time here with his his performance so far, he looks like he's been doing pretty good. Looks like Dax, Dax. submitting a 8.3 on Oceania. That is a respectable time. That will put him. Oh, keep him. Actually, keep him in second place. Yeah. Tio is still in the lead there. Lezzy is currently working on Oceania right now. He looks like he might be going for a a five or six second time here. Definitely not probably necessary, six. but <laughs> not, not definitely not necessary for sure, but. So it looks like there are our times are getting filled out. The only ones we haven't seen so far is uh, Lezzy on the U.S. states, uh, <laughs> Turk on the uh, uh, U.N. states, um, Turk on Asia, Turk on Africa, um, Lezzy on North and Central America, uh, Turk and Lezzy on Caribbean, and Lezzy and Turk on Oceania. Just want to point out, uh, Dax filling in their nickname uh, in no and all capital letters. Must have been not too happy with that run right there. <laughs> a bit sad about Dax, it. Dax is in fact a Patreon supporter. Yep. Good job. Good on yeah. Dax. Good on Dax for for supporting uh supporting our our our, our geoguesser overlords. <laughs> um, I don't know. Would that would that be transferred over to geoguesser now that? Yeah, I believe so. Sadly, not even sure if they need it. I'm, I imagine they already make a mo a, enough money on GeoGuessr alone. So. Yeah. Looks like we got two players on Oceania here. Tio is working hard on the United States to try to dethrone Dax. 
or I guess I guess for second place. I don't I don't think um I think Leslie is probably clearly in the lead here too. Yeah. So, um, is what would put would be the like the fourth fourth or fifth place time in the world right now. Yeah. Crazy. So, I mean it would be it would be third if you if you uh go on the SRC leaderboard, but it would actually be a fifth. Um yeah. If you count all the unsubmitted times, because it's the the the, the two unsubmitted, uh, mine and <laughs> my own, and then uh, uh, Poopsie, Sama, Terra, whatever alt you want to call her, <laughs> yeah. uh, Lily, Lily's uh, two fifty six. That um, I've only ever seen once, I think, which is a very good run back when I first uh, when I first watched yeah. it. So, uh, I think Turk the restarted game. their stream again. One second, sorry. Is, um, yeah, it's it's still. I mean, Turk can't hear me right now, but I think uh, I think we might just have to forego um, any technical troubleshooting right now because Discord is often just bad. Um, I, yeah. I Said <laughs> I. I mean, I had the same problem. I have good internet, and Discord just says no. Um, oh, Turk putting down a thirty-eight point five on Asia here, which uh, will put him in second place. That will put uh, Tio in dead last on Asia, and will put Dax in third. Lezzy still being the clear leader here with a 28.3, which is, mind you, only one second off world record. And currently 10 seconds behind, uh, ahead of second place right now. <laughs> yeah. So, Lezzy is doing his classic, spending a lot of time on a short quiz to try to get a time that no one else could beat, even though he doesn't have to. Yeah, <laughs> classic Lezzy move. I'll do a quick score update right now. Uh, Tio at 18 points right now. Very much in the lead right now, but I feel like Leslie can definitely catch up if they wanted to. I feel like they're just, you know, spending some extra time on the quizzes just for fun, you know, taking it a bit slow. Um, Turk, Turk is in last right now, but that's because he has not played a lot of the quizzes. He is still missing U.S. States, U US States, U.N. States, Africa, Caribbean, and Oceania. He still has a lot of quizzes to play. Yeah, which is a bit worrying for them because there is only about 42 minutes left yeah, for them to be able to get these last ones through. Yeah, we have passed the halfway point, so at this point, players should have um, focused on setting their times, and this should be the improvement points. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone's... Everyone besides... Uh... Leslie has submitted a time on everything, and bes besides Turk and Leslie, sorry, both yeah, Tio and Lezzie, Dex have done everything. Leslie is still working on Oceania. Um, he just needs to get a he just needs to beat seven point eight to get first place on that in North and Central America. He might have to try a bit harder because Tio had a pretty nice seven point one. That is a good time for North and Central America. Yeah, definitely a very. I think, I th I think I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think is it five is the world record or is it six right? Now? It was five the world record right now. Um, so getting getting seven point one on a quiz like that is 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 nothing to scoff at. I think um, I think Leslie will probably need to get a six second time, which I don't know his experience on that quiz. I've never seen him play it that much. So, but oh, yeah. Leslie losing a uh, a what was that? Not a fifty fifty. It was um, three elements left, and he he lost lost the brute force. Yeah. Bit of a shame. One in six. Looks like Turk's moving on to Caribbean now. Yeah, Turk is finally going to set a Caribbean time. Dax is currently in the lead there with a 7.6. Or not Dax, um, Tio. Tio's in the lead with a 7.6. Yeah. Looks like Tio might be safe, though, because it uh, looks like Leslie sadly does not know any of the countries in the Caribbean. Yeah. I know about Cuba and the Bahamas, but it looks like all those small ones to the right there would be a bit difficult to learn. Maybe maybe Leslie is doing the tactic of setting his best time on every map, and then just moving on to the next one, and then not coming back to it. That might be what he's gonna do. Yeah. Very very Turk, interesting strategy. Yeah. Turk may not know uh, Caribbean that well, considering, <laughs> considering he just got a fifty nine percent. I yep. I think he is very. He's not practiced on the Caribbean. Oh, Tio's stream is paused. I don't know if they know. Oh, there we go. It's back. There we go. Well, Turk, uh, as it stands right now, as long as you just set a time on the Caribbean, you will technically get one point. So. Yeah. 
I don't know how... I don't know if that point I'll say, though, because it looks like when Leslie has the way with it, it might yeah. uh, go away quickly. Leslie, Leslie lost another 1 in 6. Hate to see it. Big shame. Leslie is really going for that brute force on Ocean. It looks that, like he's trying to brute force three elements, which is kind of kind of crazy in a tournament yeah. setting like this, especially where he doesn't have to. I think he could just do maybe one or two and come away with a six-second time, I think. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, Leslie definitely being the over overachiever in this tournament. Yeah, Tio is... Oh, Tio misclicked on a Yemen here. Uh, that is unfortunate. He was looking for a low 40-second time on Asia, which would put him in third place ahead of Dax, but unfortunately he had to reset. I think um, I think Tio may not be as practiced on Asia as Turk and Leslie are, so I don't know yeah. if, um, if him beating Turk is on the table here for Asia. I don't think so at all. It's understandable. Uh, Asia is not the easiest quiz. Asia is a, a big toughie. But, um, Speaking of Turk, Turk got a 93% 17 second on Caribbean. Sadly, not submittable because it is not 100%, but looks like they're starting to learn the quiz a bit. Lezzy is still on Oceania. I bet it's, it's been, what, at least 10 or 15 minutes he spent on this Yeah. So far from him. I am wondering if he, if he is just... If he, if he's going to finish a run at this point, I, he's just going for the best possible time he can get. I think he forgets that he's not going for world record. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, might as well. This point. We got a forty-six point seven on Asia, which actually ties Dax's time. Ooh. We have a tie for third place on Asia right now. That is. That is, kind of crazy. That is kind of um, crazy. I don't know what else to say for that. Will yeah. Tio try to improve or will Dax come back and try to improve? Looks like Tio might be running UN States. He might be trying to, to take out Dax here. I don't think Turk will be playing UN States. I don't think he is uh, practiced on all the countries. Um, yeah, a shame. So I think uh, I think Tio might just try to edge out another point here in UN member states. Leslie is still in Oceania and Dax is currently also working on Oceania. Looks like Turk Turk is still learning um Caribbean, which I think he could he could set a set a time here. Um pick up a point. Yeah. Potentially, I mean, nine isn't that crazy of a thing to beat in Caribbean. So I definitely think uh with a little bit of effort, Turk may be actually be able to get uh like an eight point nine or something like that to be able to beat out Dax. Especially with their yeah. skill level. I don't know how much time they want to dedicate to this quiz, but Um, looks pretty good so far. Lezzy still has to play uh, U.S. states, Caribbean, North and Central America, and he has to finish out his Oceania here, which I, I don't know why he's spending so long on it, but he's only got about another 35 minutes left. Ooh, that's a six right there. Apparently reset, not good enough for them. Yeah, apparently not good enough, which, I mean, it would, it would currently... There's a five! Yeah, I, what, okay, we need to see what... Uh, I, I I think they're just not gonna sit with the decimals again. They just don't care. Just a five point three is that is that what that says? That is a five point three on Oceania from Leslie. That will put him in first place by a large margin there. Yeah. The other players will have to have to probably brute force a few elements if they have any hope of tying or beating. Them. Brute force like five or six elements, I'd say, for <laughs> to get a five. Have to channel inner Mac in on that, on that move. <laughs> yeah. Looks like uh, Dax has moved back on to Asia. He's trying to trying to shake Tio off of his uh, trail here, I guess. Um, Tio is moving back as well. He 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 heard me uh, heard me say that, so he's he's trying to to get Dax out of here as well. Oh, as yeah. he has finally moved on to North and Central America. That's a forty four has... from Dax. Turk has set a 9.7 on the Caribbean, which will put him currently in third place. Um, but for somebody who did not know the quiz right away, that is a very good time. I will put down 9.7 just in case right now, but that will put him 
third place. Yeah. Lezzy still has not played that. So we'll see what happens. So with Lezzy taking over the um, Oceania time there, that actually currently puts him back in first place overall. Which is, uh, yeah. And with that, I should probably update the scores in the leaderboard. Um, Tio is sadly getting bumped down to second. Now at 17 points. Lezzy has been doing some work. Now up to 18 points. That makes them in first place. Uh, Turk has also been completing a few quizzes. Uh, they've moved up to 8 points. And sadly, Dax has been bumped down a little bit. They are now at 9 points. So I'll just quickly swap Tio and Lezzy and Lezzy right here. And we have Lezzy, Tio, Dax, and then Turk. As their standings so right Le now. So Lezzy still needs to set a Caribbean, North and Central America, and U.S. States time. I wonder if we will see the the clean sweep here. If he will have time to complete all the maps, yeah. Because it looks like Leslie is on track to sweep um, first place on every single category here for a total possible of twenty twenty seven points, if my math is correct. Be very good. Uh, actually, I I don't know if they'll be able to sweep that thirty away from Tio, sadly. But twenty six is definitely on the table. Yeah, that is true. I I completely forgot that we had our had the U.S. Titan in here. <laughs> um, so Le Leslie might come out come out with a perhaps 26 points, but so I think we'll be looking at a battle between the other players here for second place. Turk um, is still missing a lot of times on maps, so he could probably edge out a few more points. Um, problem is he does not know the UN member states, I assume. So yeah, I don't weird. know if we'll be seeing a time from him there, nor do I know if he knows the US states. I think the the odds are stacked against Turk in this, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I, I think he's more of a uh, Europe and um, a Europe and an Asia kind of specialist rather than um, a world specialist like we see some of these other players here. Definitely. Uh, Lezzy is just an everything specialist. Yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> it's he's insane. On, on a different level. Um, Lezzy is currently doing his. Um, his best to try to get a very good time on North and Central America. He's not even brute forcing Canada, and I imagine he could probably get a seven, maybe even six seconds time with his skill. I heard a completed round on Tio's stream, but I don't know what it was. I assume he's playing Asia trying to beat Dax out. He has to beat a 44.3 to get uh, that one point back. That's yeah, going to be a tough, tough hill to climb for Tio. Looks like they get a 48 right there. They're still four, sort of four seconds behind Dax right now. He needs to... Uh, needs to kick it into overdrive here. We are currently, I think, um, in, in one minute, we will be at the 30-minute 30 uh, minute warning. Yeah. So this, this is the time where players need to set their times and then focus on improving their best ones to kind of edge out those points. Um. It's definitely going to be important, especially for runners like Turk, who are missing a lot of runs uh, all around. I mean, as you said before, sorry, you're saying. He's trying to beat his North and Central America time. I think he's trying to edge out Turk on, on that. He needs to get 8.2 8 or better to tie or beat Turk. Looks like he's brute forcing Canada, which is the smart choice, because Canada is in a very awkward spot up there. Definitely a very good choice, yeah. I mean, I must say, for somebody who plays mostly touch web, Dax has been has has been performing very well here. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised with how well Dax has been doing. They've been doing also like pretty well compared to their PBs, I believe. Um, I don't know exactly here. I think I can. I'll check their speedrun.com page quickly. I'm pretty sure a 44 Asia is a PB for them. Uh, on a one. Is a, is a good time. Um, I think. Uh, yeah. I think Asia being just being the quiz that it is, I think it just a mid to low forty is a is a good benchmark for a lot of players. And Definitely. then once you once you start getting better, push that you know high thirties. Um, I know that even for players like Shinboy who spend a lot of time, you know, playing both touch web and normal web, I think they just got out a thirty seven not long ago. So 
it takes a lot of practice on a, on a quiz like that. And just in case anyone was wondering, uh, Dax has PB'd four times so far during the oh, event. We have a, <laughs> a, 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 ocean, or a Caribbean time, 8.1 from Turk. Wow. Ahead of Dax, putting Dax in third place. So Dax will need to return to Caribbean if he hopes to get points back, but Lezzy may be, uh, may be crushing hopes and dreams on that map. Yeah. <laughs> He's done with North and Central America here. It's like the natural progression of all things. As, as you know, for somebody who did not know Caribbean at the start of this quiz, eight point one is a very respectable time. Definitely very respectable. But I, I think Turk is Turk is a seasoned player. He's been playing for quite a while. This is not his first tournament. I imagine. I think he has the tournament winner role in the Soterra server. So I assume there has been a tournament in the past that he's won. Lezzy with a six second. North and Central America don't know the decimal if he would hover over. It was a 6.2, I believe, if I recall correctly. 6.2, 6 so that puts him... Yep, 6.2, that puts him at number one for North and Central America as well. That is a, a very good time. Very good time, and I, not, I, he did not even brute force Canada at the start, so he looks like <laughs> he's, he's moving on to Caribbean. Oh, okay. gosh. Are we going to see a 5 for them? I know... Uh, Fives definitely aren't as consistent for Leslie as uh, some of his top times for his other category, but I wouldn't be surprised if we were able to see it from them. It's like Leslie is having to input the the fast click each time. I wonder if he has the extension installed. I know I do. Yeah. I automatically put in fast click, no flags, all that, all that jazz right away. But... I guess Leslie doesn't have it then. Teal looks like he may be taking a break here. He is currently on a two minute and twenty two second run on Asia with zero percent. So I imagine he's uh, he's not playing. Uh, Dax has he's on North and Central America trying to take the one point back from Turk. I would imagine. So it looks like our our sheets have been filled out mostly. We're just missing a U.S. states run from Lezzy and Turk. Uh, Turk's probably not going to play U.N. states. Uh, Maybe not Africa either, but Leslie yeah. is currently working on Caribbean, so we'll see what uh see what he puts down for that. Turk has also not played Oceania, unless I missed that. Nope, no Oceania run from Turk yet. Yeah, he still needs to play that. Turk here, he's kind of in a position where he needs to maybe get some of those maps that he might know out of the way. We've set some times, but the gap here is is pretty wide. I mean, Leslie is. Currently in first place with 21 points. Tio trailing behind at 16, and Dax and Turk are currently tied for third with eight points each. Which the Dax and Turk would need to kick it into overdrive here if they have any hope of catching up to Tio. Yeah, it'd be it'd be a quite a big feat for them to catch up. I mean, it's still possible, definitely, but it'd be a big hill to climb, especially since Turk doesn't know UN, Africa, or US. Yeah, that would be a. That would be a challenge. I feel like if if Dax had maybe a touchscreen laptop or maybe even iPad, we might see him here on TouchWeb, and he may be getting some better times. But unfortunately, I think he only has a phone, so I think that doesn't doesn't bode very well in some of these larger maps. Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot more difficult. I mean, maybe they could pull it out for like a maybe a quick South America run or something, but. I don't know. Yeah, switch, yeah, switching to touch web mid mid tournament would be a, <laughs> would be would be a bit weird, especially in the last uh last twenty five minutes here. Um, we are we are getting close to the end of the tournament here. Um, I think Tio may be taking a break. Maybe he, uh, he know he's he's going back in on Asia. He is trying to beat Dax and obtain his one point back. Turk is still focusing on Caribbean. He set a very respectable 8.1. Maybe he's trying to edge out Tio here. Looks like it. Which he he definitely could do. He definitely he does have the skill. He's a he's he he's by no means a uh, a slow player. He is fast. He set a set a very very good Europe time uh, with a 28.1, um, which mind you, not many people can can even get close to. I think I think sub 30 is probably a a huge barrier for a lot of Europe players. Um, it definitely is, yeah. And I mean, I Turk is... Go ahead. Uh, Turk is definitely, like, no stranger to, you know... I mean, it, they're sort of in the same boat as Mountain, where they definitely came out of retirement for this run. Turk also a former top 10 uh, player. 
as well as mountain. So they definitely have the skill for it. It's just, you know, can they de-rust fast enough to catch up with the other runners? Looks like we have three players on the Caribbean here. Not the map I would I think we would see three players on, but I think the times there are are pretty close. We just have to see what Lezzy will set here. I'm guessing probably a six second time. Definitely. He, seem, just... he seems like he's 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 pushing himself very hard in this tournament. He seems like he's he's not moving on until he gets a time that he is he is comfortable with. And it seems to be working out for him because he's currently in first place on Seven? every single map that he has played. Looks like a 7.0 Caribbean from Tio, making it a lot more difficult. 7.0 on the Caribbean. A Turk and Dax are definitely going to have a hard time catching up to that. Uh, Lezzy, we will see what he what he gets as soon as he finishes a run he's comfortable with here. Um, after that, the only quiz Lezzy has left to play is actually U.S. States. Oh, Leslie failing the 50-50, I think, there. Being, there's a third element still left that I did not see. Same thing is, I have. I feel like we have not seen as much brute force in this uh, round as we have seen in other rounds on these smaller Yeah, pieces. definitely. Um, I think these players, I think a lot of them are just skilled enough where they don't really have to rely on it that much. Um, mm. I know the round that I played in, I know we, we saw a lot of brute force on maps like South America, Oceania, um, a little bit on the Caribbean. Um, and I think um, set some pretty good times there um, in that round. I think we had like a 7.1 on Oceania, um, which Leslie, I mean, currently destroyed. Yeah. The other players are trailing behind on that one. but Yeah, I think we had three out of the four players last uh, round get a 7 Oceania, which only one... Uh, has a below a seven so far, but still very good times all around. I think Tio is has given up on the prospect of Asia and is actually moving back to the member states quiz. I think he wants to edge out Dax here, um, which mm -hmm. is definitely possible. Um, but we are approaching the twenty minute remaining mark, so the players here will have to um, focus on the quizzes that they think they need to improve on the most to get those points. I'm surprised Turk is still going for uh, Caribbean right now, honestly. I feel like it'd be a smarter play to maybe go, you know, try and get an Oceania time down, maybe try and beat Dax there. Yeah, I think Oceania will probably be the play from Turk here, um, considering the U.S. and U.N. is something he's not um, very good. I assume he's not very good on in Africa. I don't know what his Africa knowledge is like, but he has not touched that quiz yet, so I assume he's not as practiced on that one either. Yeah. But Dax is currently playing Africa, trying to get a better time as well. And we are looking at... Uh, looking at uh, potentially a 48-second Africa time here from Dax soon. Maybe even better to try to take some points back from Tio. Looks like both Dax and Tio, uh, and Turk's only chance of being Tio at this point is that they sort of like work together to try and whittle down Tio's points. Tio has set some very respectable times, though. Uh, Europe, I mean, 35.6 is is, is 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 it's not a bad time. I don't know if Dax could hope to catch up to that. Um, but and then he, um, Dax is currently actually beating him on UN member states as well. Yeah, good for them. Africa, we are looking at um, Dax and Tio currently battling it out. I think they're trying to get better times. And, but South America looks like Tio may very well have that covered. A 5.9 is a very good time for him. Yeah. Um, very good time for a lot of players, actually. I know I know 6 is a um, getting a, a 6 second time on, on South America is a big barrier for a lot of people. That definitely was for me for a long time. Yeah. Um, and then Oceania, I feel like that may, may be able to be improved if you throw a little brute force action in there. Um, but the thing is, do we have time for the brute force? That's the thing. Players need to really just focus on the maps that they that they think they can get a better time. Lezzy is still on the Caribbean. I he he is obviously not happy with any times he has set so far. I'm just watching him play, and he, he yeah, Lezzy has a very unique Caribbean strategy, I should say. There, I 
they don't really have a strategy, I guess I should say, for Caribbean. Whenever I try to play Caribbean, I try to always, you know, uh, go for all the right elements first. And if I don't yeah. get a right, el right element off the start, then I just reset, because honestly, it's not worth it. It's going to be too slow. And I just try and get, like, two or three in the row, you know. Yeah, I think brute forcing uh, Trinidad and Tobago is definitely a good play there, with it being all the way at the bottom. Either that or maybe Cuba, but Cuba's a little bit larger, so it's easier yeah. to hit. Lezzy looks like he may be getting a six second time. Ooh, last 50 50 again. 50 50. Lezzy, Lezzy's just getting very unlucky with his brute forces here in this tournament. I am surprised um, with how much 50 50s and, you know, um, one out of six chances he has failed so far. That's pretty. The, uh, the quiz here, or the time here, is slowly ticking down. So will we see Lezzy running? the U.S. states after he sets a respectable time here on uh, the Caribbean. The I imagine, point. I think Leslie, I think he said his PB was a 33 second time, so we could definitely see him getting a bit, a bit close to Tio there. Probably not beating, but definitely good enough for a second place time, since second place is currently a 49 by, or not, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Second place is currently a 35 by... Uh, 46, jeez. I can't yeah, look 40. at things. <laughs> By a deck. I looked at Africa first, then looked at Europe, and then I finally made it to US. It's just not working yeah. out. This has been a very, very interesting match. Lezzy, um, Lezzy has kind of surprised me with his with his strategies on maps here. Um, I, I, guess he's a, I guess he's a proud player. He wants to set his best time instead of just setting an average time and then coming back later. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we, we've seen a lot of jumping around from the other three players. I know Turk oh, has spent a lot, a lot of time on the smaller quizzes. And Dax and Tio seem to have been battling. They seem to be playing a lot of the same quizzes at the same time. I think they're, uh, I think they're kind of have a little bit of a rivalry going on here in their... Definitely. Lizzie has missed, like, at, le at least, like, three or four 50-50s at the end so far. It's insane. <laughs> that is un unfortunate. Will will we see him finish one here soon? He only has he has less than twenty minutes to finish this and move on to U.S. Oh, he failed Ooh. a. I think that was another one out of six chance there. Yeah, bit of a shame. I mean, this the Caribbean might not be Leslie's strongest quiz. It looks like he's. Um, I mean, obviously he's very quick, but he doesn't seem to be as quick as he is on other maps. Uh, he's Another fifty-fifty. <laughs> oh. you, you can see you can see him shake his mouse in frustration there, which is uh, understandable considering how many he's failed so far. Yes. This is kind of crazy. The, the amount of fifty-fifties that we've seen him fail on these short quizzes is a, a bit more than what you would think would happen. Yeah, a lot more. Tio, Tio, is struggling a bit on Africa it looks he keeps uh, getting right around 50 seconds I don't know if perhaps he's uh perhaps he's not as practiced as practiced on Africa which yeah. may be the case I mean Africa is by no means an easy quiz um there are a lot of very small elements that can kill a run you got um uh, you know Gambia um R Rwanda Burundi um uh, Djibouti is a very tough one sometimes um, Equatorial Guinea can be a run killer. Of course, definitely Equatorial Guinea. Oh gosh, <laughs> but I feel like I misclick uh, like Sao Tome instead of Equatorial Guinea more than I misclick yeah. the bone. It's just... Yeah, there's def that's definitely, there's definitely um, happens to me a lot too. I think um, Eswatini and uh, and then Lesotho are definitely very annoying if South Africa has not been cleared yet. Um, if, if South Africa is still on the table and you're getting an Eswatini or a, or a Lesotho, then you really got to slow down and take your time to hit because you have a high chance of just um, hitting South Africa instead. Yeah. Leslie looks risky. like he may be zooming in a little bit here on Caribbean. Um, or he may have zoomed in a little bit. Possibly. Um, I can't really tell. I wasn't paying that much attention. Caribbean is is one of the harder short ones because most of the elements are dots and dots do not have a very big hitbox. You kind of have to aim them pretty accurately. Um, 
Definitely a very technical quiz with accuracy. Yeah. Uh, Turk has moved back on to South America. I think he's trying to set a better time. Um, he currently has a 7.2, which puts him in th has him in third place. He'd have to tie or beat a 5.9, which is definitely a daunting time to tie. You probably have to throw in a few, a few brute forces in there. Of course. But we are... At less than 15 minutes left, and Lezzy needs to finish out a Caribbean run and move on to the last quiz um, here soon. I know U.S. states may take a little bit longer. It is a 50-element quiz, so misclicking is um, in higher probability there than it is on the Caribbean here. I'm sort of surprised that uh, Lezzy hasn't gotten a 6 Caribbean right now. I feel like, I don't know, maybe there's strategy could use some work. For, uh, and I mean, of course, they've gotten like extremely unlucky with the ending 50-50s, but I don't know. Maybe maybe just, you know, going for elements immediately you know, isn't as good as trying to selectively choose what, which runs you continue and which runs you decide to reset immediately. All right, looks like Dax is going on break again. That is totally understandable. <laughs> as, someone, as someone who does not play a lot of web, I imagine his hand is probably cramping up right now definitely. i know that mine was mine was definitely i had to take a couple breaks when i was playing so yeah. playing for an hour and a half is um is can be challenging for people who don't do it a lot and it's challenging for people who even do do it a lot as well yeah, yeah lezzy lezzy is just he's he's a machine he keeps on chugging i have not seen him take one break yet um it's crazy i've seen turk and Tio take a couple of breaks to probably stretch their hands relax a little bit and Good stuff but going for them. Leslie, Leslie just keeps on playing. I guess that, you know, that, you know, young, young energy must just be working yeah. out for him. Although I think most of them, I think Tio is, Tio is what, 16, if I'm not mistaken? I know, uh, I know Dax is, um, Dax is, uh, like 22, 21, somewhere in that range. And, uh, Turk, I believe Turk is probably about 18. So Leslie is definitely the youngest one out of the group here. <laughs> But all that energy in them. You know, I was um talking to another guy in another server. Um, we were talking about um, you know, I, I was telling him about you know how Lezzy is just really cracked at 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 Satari here, and he's good, and and he he knows the other guy, the other fourteen year old kid that's super good at video games and has a bunch of world records, and you know, um, my my friend was saying, yeah, you can't can't compete wow. with with those speed zoomers, you know. <laughs> I was. I was yeah, that's a that's a pretty good term for him, speed zoomers. <laughs> is that a six point uh, three, I believe, or six point one? I can't tell honestly. That is a six point two, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I was completely wrong. Yeah. Looks like it looks like a six point two. I think so. Leslie's setting a six point two here on the Caribbean. That is a that is a definitely a good time that will put him straight in the first place. And now he has ten minutes to set a time on the U.S. states. To complete his uh, his score sheet here, um, D Discord is working in uh, under time for me, I guess, because these pictures in the submission channel are not loading at all. So, oh, that's a shame. I can see one of them. I can see. Yep. I can I see can one of them as well. The, but I can see his North and Central America one finally that did not load before. And oh, there's his Caribbean. But I think that's a six point two. Looks like Leslie has moved on to the U.S. states. He has, he has ten minutes to set a time here. Um, he seems like he he's pract he practiced a little bit before the tournament, and I am just now noticing that there are dots for um, Rhode Island, um, and I believe oh, what element is that? Delaware. Delaware. There are dots. <laughs> for those two. How did I never see those before? That is crazy. Same. There are, I, I don't know how I don't know if I just didn't see him like I, if they just don't show up as well when I'm playing myself but uh as an American here you can definitely see my knowledge on the states is a uh, about the average American's knowledge on the states yeah <laughs> I know you're saying that that's about it after that <laughs> um, but yeah we are um looking at Turk here uh still on South America probably trying to edge out Tio and maybe in the last 10 minutes, uh, it's gonna be a pretty Dax and Tio are currently playing Africa, trying to edge each other out. And Lezzy is setting his final time in uh, the score sheet here. 
which is just in time because there is less than 10 minutes left. Just so everyone knows, it is going to end on the 33 of whatever time zone you're in. Uh, so just about nine minutes left for all runners. I'm going to get very close at the end. Ooh, I think it's a PB for Turk at the 7 point something. Not 7.9. 7.9. Actually, that is he is a 7.2. Oh, yep, you're so right. That, Sorry. Um, so we are... As the tournament winds down here, it looks like we could probably say that Lezzy is our clear leader. Will Dax and Turk do enough to edge out Tio and perhaps take second place away from him? We will see. There's still an 8-point difference, but I mean... Uh, I mean, like, I, I, we haven't seen crazier things. This will be the craziest thing we've seen so far if Either of them managed to beat Tio. Well, I'm excited Tio, for Tio it. Has set, Tio has set some respectable times, and him definitely being in first on the U.S. states is giving him a lot of, you know, a lot of points right now. So, and and Dax only stands to lose more as Lezzy finishes his states run. I mean, if Lezzy is able to get, you know. A pretty big PB right now. I don't know if they're gonna be able to, but just looking at the speed they're going, they might actually be able to get, uh, maybe like a low thirty, low enough to just barely beat Tio. Yeah, I think um, I think we'll probably see a thirty-two or thirty-three second time here in the end, perhaps. Um, judging by the speed, um, Tio looks like he may be happy with his time on the states there. Him and Dax are definitely focusing on Africa here. I know their times are... They, they could definitely edge each other out a little bit more. And Turk is just focusing on South America. I think he's uh, played all the maps that he knows. And he's just trying to you know, improve a little bit. Uh, Turk did, definitely did not have as much time as the other runners to prepare for this event. <laughs> definitely yeah, came in at short notice. Yeah, that is uh, unfortunate. But we're just glad that he was able to join up and fill up the last slot here with uh, Avity being unable to play due to uh, school. Very big shame. Even though Turk said that he had a 120 minute exam that he was also doing today, but he said Satara is more important than school. <laughs> <laughs> Got his priorities straight, I suppose. Yeah. Very good. This is... Uh... This has been a very good round so far. We have seen some 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 uh, tournament best times so far from some of these players. Definitely U.S. We have not seen a a close you know a time even close to what Tio put down. Lezzy put down some amazing times in every single map he's played so far. Yeah, currently Lezzy hold uh holds every tournament best except for U.S. across all rounds. Dax being a touch web player, he has been performing very, very good. I know he has some practice on uh, normal web, but this is this is this is definitely somebody who is a a very skilled player. Um, maybe if they had, maybe if Dax had more practice playing web, um, he could definitely um, get some much better times. I think he could probably push um maybe a you know mid to low thirty seconds on Europe, probably a a low 40s on um, Africa, high 30s That's on Asia. Way. I think I think those are kind of the benchmarks for me, at least. Um, yeah, getting maybe like a like a 38, 39 on Asia would be like a very respectable time, um, considering just how daunting of a quiz Asia is. Um, yeah, get get. It's it's hard to go from hard. It's hard to get to a 39 in the first place, and then it's even more difficult to. Get past a thirty nine. I know when I started out playing, I stayed at thirty nine for a while on it. Asia, and it was just. Lezzy setting a thirty one second time on U.S. states. We see the decimal here, thirty one point two. That is <laughs> a very, a very respectable time for the U.S. states, especially for somebody who is, um, not as practiced on that quiz. Um, as far as I know, Lezzy actually just started practicing that quiz, um, only a few days ago. But I think his his skill, his speed, his experience in other quizzes definitely helps. He is moving back to South America now. Lezzy is. <laughs> I assume he's going to spend these last five minutes trying to set a better South America time. I'm surprised uh, they uh, aren't going for the clean sweep, 27 points, and trying to beat up Tio. Tio is playing. 
Tio is playing the uh, American uh, baseball team's quiz, I think, here. Um, <laughs> I think he's uh, I think he's doing a little bit messing around, kind of like Saffron Cat was um, playing, um, playing a quiz. Oh, and Turk here also playing a quiz that is not uh, scored in the tournament. I can't see exactly what it is because I do not, uh, I don't speak German. Oh, the, the famous uh, uh, German provinces? German, I don't even know what it is. Some, something German subdivisions, whatever the heck. Uh, yeah, Lezzy, I think, is probably shooting for a a four second. I mean, um, not like four overall, but like a four point six maybe or higher here without uh, brute force. Um, I see he's not brute forcing Chile at the start, which is typically what runners do when they are pushing for world records in South America, because Chile is a very troll element. Very South troll America. element. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We are coming down to the last three minutes of the tournament here, um, and with uh, Tio and Turk um, moving on to other quizzes, will Dax set a a better Africa time here? Will he edge out Tio and take away one point from him? Very close. One we'll more. You if... oh, go good. first. You, you go first. I was going to say we will see if Lezzy here can. Uh, can beat his uh, South America PV before the time is up. Yeah, and uh, speaking of South America and like brute forcing and stuff like that, South America is one of those maps where there's a, a lot of different options to brute force. I mean, I've seen players brute force all different kind of things. I'm a, I'm a French Guiana brute forcer myself. Uh, I know Blur to get their five. They were a uh, Uruguay brute forcer. Uh, a lot of people are Chile brute forcers. And I'm even just yes. Uh, Yesterday or two days ago, depending on your time zone, um, Tamug uh, was actually a Bolivia brute forcer, which was very interesting to oh, see. Yeah, that is a very interesting brute force. That is not one. I, I I would say Chile, Uruguay, and French Guiana are the are the prime candidates for brute forcing on that map. Or um, yeah, French Guiana. Um, Lezzy is he has obtained what is that a five? Was that a five point one? A 5.1. He actually five beats one. his current PB in the quiz. He is a 5.1 a 5 on South America. It's a very nice time. And just so everyone knows, there is just two minutes left in this round. Uh, it seems like Turk and Tio are both happy with their placement where they are right now. Dax trying to get just one more point to try and tie with Turk at the end. Because they are just a single point behind Turk. Looks like Turk's stream is currently uh, not working. Oh, he is gone. I oh. think maybe his internet his internet crashed or something. His stream was broken there, and then he is gone. But uh -oh. <laughs> I think uh, with uh, with with just with less than one minute left here, I think we could almost call the tournament. If Dax wants to try to go for one more run to edge out Turk before the time is up, he is very well unable to. But uh, one second, I'll try and uh. I'll try and fix uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the half Tio. You can see half of Tio. Thankfully, Tio isn't doing any, any serious runs, so it isn't that important. And I'll just keep it for now. You, you, get, you get half and half Tio for right now. I hope it, doesn't, it isn't too bad. <laughs> this very well may be Dax's last attempt at edging out um, Tio here on uh, Africa. The uh, tournament should be over here any time now. It is currently uh, on the 32 mark for wherever time zone you are, and I imagine the 33 will come up here shortly. Keep going, Dax. You can still make um, it. If you started a run before 30. the last second, you can still you it, can still finish it. It is officially oh, changed well. over to 33 for me. Never mind. Yeah, that's a rip. So that that concludes the tournament. Uh, Lezzy is still. I don't know, is he done? He's on Twitch. Yeah, he's moving to Twitch. Yeah. I'll go ahead and well, turn off everyone's screen for that. Well, that was definitely a, a tournament. Lezzy uh, performing um, very well as expected. I mean, Lezzy being the top player um, of all time, I would say. I think Lezzy might disagree. He might say that Unfried or Benkin may be better than him, but Lezzy is Lezzy's... in a lot of people's eyes. He's definitely been... The, the top player for a long time. I mean, he's he's has multiple world records on the full game categories, and even here in this tournament, I mean, setting a 24 second time on Europe, which ties his current PB. That is that is insane. insane. Tied world record slash their PB in most categories. Africa, they tied it. 
Um, Asia, they almost tied. I think they were just one second off. Yeah, and Oceania, they and North and Central America, they also tied both of those. So, but yeah, that was um, that was a very very good, very very good round. We had some some titans, titans in this round. I mean, Lezzy obviously, Tio is a very good player, especially on U.S. Dax is a very seasoned touch web player. He decided to perform here and um in web and he did very very good for for um not having as much experience on web um definitely i i think he kind of got a kind of got the short end of the stick here maybe on the on the seed here but still i mean he put up some some very good times here um very nice all around so now we have all the all the runners here i don't know if any of you want to unmute or say anything at all if you have any i don't know how How's everyone feeling during the run? If anyone wants to say anything, you know, how they felt it went, everything like that. Um, so, uh, I really couldn't get my heart rate down for the first, like, 45 minutes. I was literally <laughs> playing on a heart attack the entire time. <laughs> and I think it especially showed on Africa, where I was just stuck, like, for yeah. like 10 minutes, or, you know. And I do think my brute force RNG was pretty bad, too. Uh, yeah, we we saw that oh, on uh, what was it? I think it was Caribbean. You missed like five fifty fifties yeah. before you got a finally uh, one. Yeah, I mean, I was only doing one one and six as well, but uh, it's whatever. I still got the run, so yeah, that was um very good times here. Um, Tio coming out with a very good uh thirty second time on uh U.S. states and um Turk and Dax um they also performed very well, but I think uh. I think Lezzy was just too powerful for the other players here. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, everyone played well, especially Turk, who has, you know, hasn't really played in a while. I think uh, it was impressive to see what he was able to do. Yeah. Though I wasn't really watching, but uh, I could see the times in the, yeah. in the document. Especially that uh, Europe time from Turk was very oh, nice. Yeah, that, was, that was a very nice Europe time. Um. Mm -hmm. Just he uh looks like he didn't set an Oceania time and Africa time a U.S. states or a U.N. states time. Uh, I think he is uh, not as practiced on those quizzes, so that is probably the reason why. Um, in fact, we actually watched him learn the Caribbean on stream. <laughs> he, he he did not know the elements, so. And Tio is still running the um the United States baseball teams quiz here, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> Very exciting time. Us but that uh, that concludes this round. Looks like Lezzy is uh, our victor here with a 26 out of 27 possible points. Uh, the only one he did not take first place on was uh, U.S. States because Tio is the uh, world record holder there, and he puts up a good fight. Um, and then that puts uh, Tio here in second place with 15 points, um, Turk in third with seven points, and Dax in fourth with six points. Uh, very good performance from all the players here. Um, very very interesting round to watch, and I uh, enjoyed Dax's um capybara break time picture that he would put <laughs> up when he was uh, getting a stretch in or something. It was very nice. Uh, so with that, we're probably gonna conclude. Is there any last things any of the runners want to say? You can go ahead and unmute if you have anything you want to say. Otherwise, I think we'll call it there. I think that's it. I hear uh, crickets in the room, so um. <laughs> Anyway, uh, good, good round. Everyone played uh, very well. Uh, thank you to Turk for joining in last minute um, and filling up our fourth slot here. Um, Dax, that was very, very good performance for somebody who is mostly a touch web player. And Works. Tio showing his skills on maps other than um, U.S. states here. He, he set some pretty good times on like the Caribbean, uh, North Central America, Oceania, South America. Maybe not as practiced on uh, Asia and Africa. Um, pretty good Europe time though, but yeah, that was a good round and uh, uh, good luck to Lezzy and Tio in their uh, next uh, next round.